Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a login form using PyQt6. Before we dive into the tutorial, let me just give you a quick demo on the application. So here we have a very basic uh, application form. In this application, we have two fields. One field to enter the username, the other field to enter the password. And from this application, I'll be uh, connecting to a database system. In this demo, I'm using Microsoft Access. You can use any other database system, such as uh, MySQL, SQLite, SQL Server, uh, NoSQL, and so on. The reason why I like to use Microsoft Access uh, to integrate with uh, some applications because Microsoft Access already comes with a built-in uh, user interface. So here I have a users table, and this is going to be the uh, table that I'm going to store different credentials. So in this table, I have several accounts. Here we have the user ID, username, and password. So if I try to uh, log in with an uh, invalid username, so here let's type ABC, and for the password, let's just do 123. And you notice that here in the password field, I'm masking the uh, information. Now, if I click on login, and because ABC is not in the uh, database system, so I'm going to display a, a message, username is not found. Now, if I change the username to something that is in my uh, database, so if I type J1, and I'm going to keep the password as this. Now, if I click on login, and because uh, my username is correct, but my password is uh, incorrect, so my message will display password is incorrect. Now if I change the password to something that is uh, correct, now click on login. So in the background, I'm launching this uh, main application window. Then I'm going to close the login window. So this is the entire application that we're going to create. All right, so here, uh, let me go back to my Python script. So here's my code snippet. From the uh, importing statement, I'm importing these uh, following modules or classes. And the module I'm going to use to connect to my database system as well as uh, to create my records is the Qt SQL module. And from this module, I'm importing Qt SQL database class and the Qt SQL query class. And from the Qt core module, I'm importing the Qt class. And from the uh, Qt widgets module, I'm importing Qt application, Qt widget, line edit, push button, label. For the layout style, I'm using the Qt grid layout class and the Qt size policy class to configure how we want to expand the column width for our widgets. And here are some of the uh, default standard modules from the Python library. Now let's take a look at uh, the classes. So this one is going to be the main application that we're going to launch after we log in. And it's going to be the uh, class to create the login window. And below is my uh, main routine to uh, launch the application. Now, if I launch the window, I'm going to have a blank window. Now let's go back to the uh, login window class. So here I want to insert my widgets. I'm going to create two dictionaries, labels and uh, self.blank this. So this two dictionary is going to be the containers that I'm, I'm going to store different widgets. Here, let me increase the font size just a little bit. Right, so let's create the uh, labels first. So we're going to have a username label and password. I want to set the uh, size policy to uh, fix. All right, so I'll take these two labels option that set size policy and from Q size policy because I'm using PyQt6, so I need to uh, type Q size policy followed by the enum type. And it's going to be policy dot fix. And it's going to be the uh, size policy for the column width. And this is going to be the size policy for the column height. And it's going to be policy the fix. All right, so we have our labels. Now let's create our, our input fields. So it's going to be username input field. And 
and it's going to be password. And because I want to mask out the uh, characters while typing the password, so I'm going to set the echo mode to password. So from Qline edit class dot echo mode, I want to reference the password mode. Now we have created our labels and the uh, fields. Now let's add those widgets to our window. So from the layer object dot add widget, I want to insert the username row first. So it's going to be labels, username. I want to assign the uh, label to the first row, first column. And for the row size and the column size, I'll set that to one. Now I want to add the uh, uh, input field. And sh this should be uh, self line edits. I want to assign the uh, widget to the first row, second column. For the uh, row size, I'll set that to one. For the column size, I'll set that to three. Now I'm going to copy these two lines. I'll make a copy. I'll change username for uh, these two items to password. And here I'll change the uh, go index to one. Now if I launch the window, here we type of some oh, username and here notice that height is too much let me take a look let me set the height value to 150 maybe 120 in particular okay i said 120 looks pretty good right now let's insert the uh, push button so I'll name the uh, push button, button login. And I'll assign a shortcut key to letter L. And login. Now I'm going to add the push button to my layout object. And it's going to be the third row, the fourth column. For the row span and the height span, I'm going to set it to one. And this one's going to be the status label. I want to set the uh, default fonts, actually just the color and the font size. To so let's do uh, for the font size, let's do 25 pixel. And for the uh, font color, let's do red. Let's take a look. Now my input field height is a little bit too narrow. Let me go back. Maybe 250. Maybe. Okay, I sent 200 looks pretty good. And I see the push button is in the wrong location. And it should be three. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we have created our interface. Now let me close this window. Now I'm going to create a method to connect to the uh, database system. In this case, I'm going to use assets as I mentioned before. So I'm name this method connect to DB. From QSQL database class, I want to specify the drive using the add database method. If you want to know what drivers PyQD supports, so here from uh, from this website, which I'll link the link in the description below. So here me make a note. So from this page, we have a list of uh, drivers that we can use based on your database system. If you are using MySQL database or MariaDB, then you want to use this uh, driver name. If you are using SQLite, then uh, for SQLite 3, you want to use this driver name. For SQLite 2, you want to use QSQLite 2. For Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft Access, or Excel, then in that case, I'm going to uh, use QODBC as my driver name. And once I specify the uh, driver type, we need to insert the uh, 
connection string to connect to the database system. So here, uh, let me save the output as DB. And next, I need to set the uh, database connection using set database name method and followed by the uh, connection string. So this is going to be the connection string to connect to Microsoft Access database. And here I'm going to insert if statement. I'm going to check whether or not if the uh, Microsoft Access is connected successfully. So here I'm going to say that if not, db.open. If a database is not connected successfully, then this is going to return false. Then I want to reverse the value. Then I want to uh, change the status label to connection failed. And that's everything we need to write for uh, this method. I want to create another method. This is going to be the method that I'm going to check whether or not the username or the password is valid. I'm going to name this method check credential. Now inside the method, I want to grab the username. And the password. And since, and since this should be capital, capital P. Now we need to query against the uh, database. So here I'm going to create an instance of QSQL query object. Now I want to uh, insert the uh, SQL statement that I'm going to run against my database. So here I want to uh, type query that prepare. And because I want to insert a parameter to my SQL statement, so here let's do select everything from users with username. Here I want to insert a variable placeholder. And the syntax is colon followed by the variable name. I want to name my variable username. Now I want to assign a value to this uh, username variable. So here I'm going to type create bind value. This method takes two parameters. So the first parameter is the uh, variable name. And the second parameter is going to be a value that I want to assign to this variable. And the value is going to be coming from username. Now I want to execute the SQL statement. Here I want to set the active row to the first record. So here I'm going to type query that first. And I'm going to insert if statement. If query first is true, then we know we have something in return. If this statement returns false, then that means uh, no record has been found. So here let me insert the else block. And since I know uh, if this condition fail, then the issue is the username is not found in the database. So I want to update the status message to username is not found. Now if we have something returned, then I want to insert another if condition. I want to grab the uh, password value from the password column. So if this value is equals to the password variable value, then I know the password is correct. So I want to actually delay the uh, window launching by one second. Then I want to create my uh, main application object. So it's going to be a main app. Then I want to display the window. Then I want to close the login form. Otherwise, then the issue is to do with the uh, password is incorrect. Now I'm going to grab uh, this connect to DB method. And I'll call the uh, function or method after I uh, construct the interface. So this will automatically uh, connect to the database every time I launch the application. I want to assign the this uh, track credential method to the push button right here. 
Now let's turn the uh, method to the click signal. And that's it. Now let's give it a try. For the first test, I'm going to enter a username that is not uh, valid. So I'll type hello. And for the password, I'm just going to type 123. Now if I use the shortcut LTL, I'm going to get a message, username is not found. And here I notice that we have a bug. So when I click on this push button, my input field is resized automatically. So here let me fix that. I think the issue here is the, yeah, where's my, oh. So uh, when I assign the status widget to the uh, layer object, I forgot to uh, specify the column span size. All right, so here let's uh, fix that. I want to add the status label to the uh, fourth row, first column. For the row size, I'll set that to one. And for the height, I'll set that to three. Now let's try again. All right, so this time my uh, input field is not resized automatically. Now let me take a look at my uh, users table. So here let me uh, pick a username. Let's pick J1. At this point, I know my password is still incorrect. So if I click on login, now my message changes to password is incorrect. And this time I'm going to enter the correct password, X1, and login. And since the uh, password is correct, I'm going to delay the main window execution by one second. Close the window. And close the uh, login form. All right, so the saves I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.